Hello, random viewer, me and Hat Monster are back to talk more about energy in the universe. Today, I want to focus on frequency, timelines, and why the Looking Glass project stopped working. And as a bonus, I'll give more context to what the Mandela effect really is. So, if you've been following my series, or if you know physics in general, matter is made up of energy. And this energy, which is moving around in matter, has a vibrational frequency. This vibrational frequency is what that matter calculates at. Matter can only calculate at similar vibrational frequencies. What about you? You're made of matter, but you also have a soul. Well, your soul, your auric field, the energy that runs your body, is what determines your frequency. And that frequency is determined in itself by your positive to negative energy ratio. As I mentioned before, negative energy spins down, positive energy spins up, and depending on what the ratio is of how much one to the other is your frequency. And because matter can only interact with things of similar frequency, it's a soft calculation, so there's wiggle room, your vibrational frequency based on your auric field determines what matter you interact with and who you interact with. And that is, of course, determined by your positive versus negative energy. So what the universe looks like with regards to your timeline, I should say what the timeline of the universe looks like with regards to you, is we'll look at graph here. On the bottom x-axis is your years, you living through life. The y-axis is the frequency that you start at. Now, as you travel through life and you change your negative and positive energy aspects and ratios, your frequency can go up, which is more positive energy, or it can go down, which is more negative energy. And so that's how you travel through the universe, changing frequencies constantly, and each frequency is a different layer of matter interaction. Again, the closer you are to base frequencies that you start at, you're not gonna notice much different. Now, when it comes to something like the Mandela effect, in some frequencies, the Berenstain Bears are spelled one way, and in some frequencies, the Berenstain Bears are spelled in another way. That is solely based on, again, the frequencies as you move throughout your life. They're going up and down, up and down. You'll notice I use 7.82 as the base frequency. Where does that come from? Did I just pick that out of, out of my ass? No, I did not. That's not my ass, that's my nose. I did not pick that out of my ass. That is the Schumann resonance. And the Schumann resonance, more complicated than this, but basically it's the vibrational frequency of Earth. And guess what? Since you live on Earth, you have to match your vibrational frequency. So. In the past, up until recently, it was 7.82 roughly. That's 7 in general. So that's where I use the base 7. And again, you can lower frequency or you can go up in frequency. So what's this have to do with predicting the future? With the Looking Glass Project? Well, if you look at people like Nostradamus, Edward Casey, all the future tellers, when they're telling the future, that future is based on their vibrational resonance at the time, meaning their ratio of positive to negative energy. So if the ratio is high, they're giving a different, they're seeing different things in the future than a vibration that's low. So it's all based on their vibration, which is why they're wrong or their stuff can be interpreted different ways. Because again, the universe is all about frequency and those frequencies, just like you, change over time. So what about Project Looking Glass? Well, Project Looking Glass was a thing that started, I forget when. Well, Project Looking Glass is a way for certain individuals to see the future, but it stopped working in 2012. Why? Well, as I said in previous videos, that's when the galactic birthing ray, the galactic current sheet, entered our solar system and caused the change in energy. So the sun is now putting out more positive energy. And because the looking glass looks at the specific frequency that it's based on, which is seven or eight, somewhere around there, it can't see past the point when Earth's vibration increases. And that vibration started to increase in 2012. Currently, we're about 20. It kind of resonates up and down, but about 20 or so Again, it's more complicated than that, but that's what we're looking at. Excuse me while I drink. For this reason, Project Looking Glass stopped looking 
after 2012. Why? Well, as Earth's vibration completely increases, this is what the ascension is, it solely means the increase in vibrational frequency of the planet. So it's a continued increase, that's all it is. It changes the vibration from 7.8 and it starts raising it. That's it, nothing special, nothing mystical. Your positive, negative energy ratios are changing. So as a result, after looking, trying to look at 2012 and beyond, well that timeline is collapsing, meaning as, as you go down in, in frequencies, the lower frequencies, since everything is raising up, the lower frequencies are disappearing. And so those future predictions are predicting timelines that no longer exist. So why can't they just reboot it? Why can't they use the chronovisor from the Vatican? Because the Vatican has one too. Well, if they reset it to 20 and they try seeing the future, they're going to get the same problem. Because again, the ascension means raising of the vibrational frequency. So before, they could look at it and go far away and see way into the future when it was 7.8. But now it's going up. So when they look, they hit a wall. And as it keeps going up, they're going to keep hitting walls. They're not going to be able to look horizontally anymore. And vertically, all the timelines are collapsing. So, even resetting the chronovisor, even resetting the looking glass will only give them a little bit of future data because it's constantly changing as we ascend to higher vibrations. You won't be able to tell the future, even though the timelines are collapsing. So I hope that explains a little bit about what frequencies are, timeline, and why these projects don't work. So to reiterate, matter can only interact with things of similar frequency. Your frequency is based on your positive to negative energy ratio, and that changes over time. What the ascension currently is doing is raising everybody's frequency, and because the frequency is going up, more positive energy versus negative, any attempt to see the future will fail as the timelines collapse as everything uh, becomes more positive. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope that explains.